three totem poles were unveiled this afternoon at the Seashelt Shishath Hospital on the Sunshine Coast in celebration of the hospital's new wing and new name. I think today is a symbol of uh, friendship, partnership and uh, collaboration of, you know, uh, the municipality, uh, uh, Seashell First Nation and, uh, you know, the people of the Sunshine Coast working together and what a great way to find balance right here today. The hospital was renamed earlier this year, honoring the Seashell Nation for donating the 11-acre parcel of land on which the hospital was built in the 1960s. Prior to that, the nearest hospital was a two-hour drive down a dirt road. While designing the new wing, hospital staff and Shishath elders wanted to recognize that contribution by incorporating the traditional art of Seashelt carvers into the wing's design. Changing the name of the hospital from St. Mary's to Shishath Seashelt Hospital has meant a lot to our community and it erases another um, layer of the residential school era which is so important to our people to begin that healing journey and that reconciliation with the greater community. That reconciliation story took Seashelt Master Carver Tony Paul nearly a year to carve into the welcome and healing poles, a medium used traditionally to tell stories. The healing pole, which means so much because of the, the area that the, the hospital stands, was part of the residential school. And not just, not just healing us in our, in our health and that, but healing our people. It's the welcome pole. It has its arms out, reaching out, welcoming people. Come in, we'll take care of you in every which way possible. I found that really touching because he incorporated the staff that work within the hospital as part of the, of the totem and that made me feel really good. It does make it feel like we're really working together in, in the hospital to provide care to the residents of the Sunshine Coast. The Seashelt Shishath Hospital is now fully equipped with the latest in Indigenous culture and reconciliation. Tamar Kozlov, Shishath News, Seashelt.